Let's go through a transition on a multi-pitch climb when we want the same leader to lead the next pitch, but we also are using the climbing rope as our anchor material. Hi there, everyone. I'm Jason. There are times when it may be preferable to use the climbing rope as an anchor. Let's just take as one example an anchor we need to build with trad gear that has placements which are far apart. We may not have slings or cord long enough to make the anchor. Also, wide angles in the anchor can mean more force on gear placements, and so the shock absorbing properties of our dynamic climbing rope may be a benefit. But now let's complicate things a little bit more. Let's say the leader who is up top and who has built the anchor is the better climber and the only one capable of leading the next pitch. That means we can't swap leads. The lead climber has brought up the second climber, and now we need to manage a block lead transition. That is, having the same leader lead multiple pitches in a row, even though the end of the rope that the leader needs to take up is currently being used as the anchor. We could have each climber tether in, untie from their end of the rope, swap rope ends, and retie in. But both adding in the tether and also untying and retying knots takes time. We are also adding risk as we are undoing and needing to accurately redo the endpoint of our safety system. Instead, we can do something that takes about the same amount of time but doesn't demand coming out of the rope. Here we are using a climbing wall setup that approximates what we saw outside. Each sling threaded through a hanger is representative of the sling we have at the end of our cam or the wire we have on our Passive Pro. Eventually, we are going to have the second climber build a new anchor underneath the first one. This starts when the lead climber first reaches the anchor and realizes that we want to both build the anchor with the rope and we'll need to do a block lead transition later. This way, the leader knows to start the anchor build closest to their departure point. In this case, we will say the leader will head up the second pitch from the left, so the left becomes the first piece of gear to clip. The leader is leaving a bit of slack and clove hitching into the first piece. The climber is still on belay and backed up with whatever is the last piece of gear below them. Now we move across the pieces in order, in this case, left to right. Middle pieces get a simple clip through, and the final piece gets a half twist clip through because we are going to turn it into a clove hitch in a moment. Now we can pull down the middle loops into the direction of pull, even the length of the loops, and then tie a bite knot master point. We can make a loose clove hitch now on that final piece of gear, and holding the master point in the direction of pull, we can tighten the clove to equalize the pieces. Now the leader can use the extra slack coming from their harness and clove hitch into the master point. We belay up the second climber as per the norm. Note, here we have tied two ropes together, but we are treating this as a single rope. For this demonstration, we just wanted to have rope color differences so that the leader and follower's rope ends are clear to the viewer. When the following climber is up, it's time to build our second anchor, and we start by adding in a carabiner to each piece of gear. We are showing it here with the second already up, as if the leader didn't have enough carabiners, but the leader could certainly add them when making the original anchor if that hardware is available. Now we build the secondary anchor as we did the first, but using the added carabiners and making sure the second anchor is built under the first, that is, closer to the wall. Note that the second climber is either still on belay or has their belay tied off, depending upon how much the first climber needs to help build the second anchor. Once the second is clove hitched into the new master point, the second can get the leader on belay and the leader can dismantle the first anchor. Do you like using the rope as an anchor? Does that vary from trad to sport routes? Tell us what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to support us. For more information, you can go to our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com. You can watch another multi-pitch rope work video on how to manage twin or double ropes when climbing as a team of three, or maybe check out our entire rock climbing safety series. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.